Okay, this is a very quick tip on how to trim a path on a filled shape layer. So let's create a new composition. I'll call it Trim Path. Okay, it's just a HD and I don't know, about, uh, let's make it about five seconds. Okay, we're going to press the Q key to cycle through the different shapes, we get a rounded rectangle. Okay, just double click. We got fill and stroke applied. Let's just make this, I don't know, about now yeah, 20 pixels is fine. Okay, now I'm going to press the U key twice to reveal everything that's going here. I want to uh, adjust the size of the stroke. Let's just make it, oh, 200 by uh, 900. Okay, and we want to adjust the roundness, keep it round on the top, so we'll add a very quick little expression to roundness, and all we're going to do is take a little picklet and divide the width by 2. Now we got a perfect, uh, perfect little shape layer. All right, next... Uh, I'm going to name this layer. Next step is to duplicate that rectangle. It's exactly the same. After we duplicate that, press the U key twice again to reveal all modified properties. Give myself just a little bit more room here. Okay. The top copy, we want to have only the stroke, so we'll just delete the fill. The bottom, you want to eliminate the stroke, just delete the stroke, so we only have the fill. Okay? Now, all you have to do is select the top rectangle and add trim paths. Right there it is. Boom. We'll spin that down. Okay, we can animate the start. We can animate the end and we can slide the path around any place that we want it to go. We'll set a couple of keyframes. I'll just uh, reset all these. So we'll set a keyframe for start, move down the timeline, set a keyframe for moving the start that way, and just for fun we want to move the offset so that the shape layer finishes here. And we'll go back to the start. Let's just get it started here. And we'll make the shape layer start right in the middle of the layer like that. Slide the keyframe over. And uh, here we go. Anything that we want to do right here. Let's get this so that it's just even. There we go. We can time reverse these keyframes to make it go the other way. I guess that's more than you wanted to, uh, to know. But here we go. Boom. Couldn't be simpler.